Welcome to another YouTube live stream direct from the Florida RV Super Show. This one's a little different because this is sp specifically asked for by a number of audience friends, especially Mesa Mike. So here's the scenario. Let's say you've been traveling for a while, you want to kind of get out of your big sticks and bricks, but you want to have some degree of home base. What do you do? Especially if you're a full-time traveler like myself. We got Peter joining us today to kind of help walk through this, this rig. Yeah. So hi, Peter. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> hi. Um, so imagine that you have bought a few acres out in a rural area, but you and you want to drive your van to this site, uh, maybe in kind of a pole barn for your van, but you have something like this to get into to kind of get out of the van with way more space, more of a residential look. This is a Timber Wolf um, destination traveler trailer, they call it. Yes. So you kind of drag it to the site, you park it, and you don't drag it around. They're v built very differently. Um, so Peter and I were pretty smitten with this when we walked through a couple days ago. So we're going to show you this. And again, I think it kind of solves a problem that a lot of people have, but they're not really sure what to do. So let's uh, spin this around and we will show you that. We got a lot of traffic here. All right, here we go. This is in the Camping World booth. Again, this is the Timberwolf. Uh, new for 2024, it's the Timberwolf, made by Forest River, which makes a good product. Coachman RV is a subsidiary of Forest River. So again, this is a 16 ml. Uh, this is the MSRP. You picked this up for 38 grand, which is a pretty good deal. If that you did, an amazing deal. It is an amazing deal. And if you didn't notice, we're standing on the porch. So it comes with a built-in porch and uh, huh. sliding glass windows. And I really want you to kind of think about if you had a couple acres. You want a vacation house, you're tired of driving the van, we'll step in. And it's really tall. It's got a two-story feel right out of the gate. Your bedroom's up here. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I should have thought of that. That's Super. Really bright, huh? Yeah, what do you think? I can't even hear the music anymore. Uh, installation. Oh, no, the music was off. The music was off. Okay. But it's... It's this is, so cool, right? You know, I, I don't know much about the market or about these guys at all. I've never shopped around for one, but... Pretty amazing price, in my opinion, for so much space. I mean, you have a full kitchen. You, you've got everything in here. Yeah. Um, Including a, a bunk. So if you've got kids up here, we're doing a YouTube live. If you want to give us like a few minutes or, or say, hey, come on in. <laughs> Either way. Um, so a ladder goes up here. It could be like a bunkhouse for the kids. Um, a big old seating area here with a big old TV. Mm -hmm. But again, if you're used to RV travel style, this is plenty of room to get out of the rig yeah. and come into something a little differently. So you've mentioned the... Uh, the galley, so a farm style sink, big old uh, propane stove, a real oven, which is great, microwave, lots of cabinetry, and you know, again, if you just nice kind of, with the yeah, metal, metal. Um, this yeah. is kind of cool, right? Yeah. Stores down below. Oh, these are pretty cool. What does yeah. that do? Uh, Rinse so your beer glass? Yeah, you turn the glass upside down, no put way. it down, and then it, uh, yeah, super cool. I don't know if they have a glass here. Probably not. That is, so um, but what, what anyway. do you think the build quality versus an RV? This has a lot of hardwood in it. It's more sturdy because it's meant to be moved once probably. Yeah. Not dragging I mean, around, right? Nice build quality. I, I like the countertops, the Korean. Um, Probably not, the, maybe not the best hardware, but overall looks really good. Um, yeah, it's got a little bit lowered ceiling here, so it kind of defines the space because over there is really high. If we kind of turn around behind me, what is this? Right. So is it's that a washer, a washer and dryer? dryer combo? Kind Very of European cool. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And imagine if you got again some some acreage, you go wash your clothes, you go hang them out in the fresh air. Perfect. This is a counter. Yeah. What in the heck is this thing? It's probably an air fryer or. I don't know. I don't either. I have no idea. Contour, this is probably an air fryer. I don't know. New appliances, never seen that before. Yeah. More storage, yeah. Full big fridge. fridge. Um, these are actually really nice. We actually have one in one of our similar style units at Airbnb property. So again, running from the running from the city, running from people, uh, but you want to travel, have a bit of a home base. This is kind of, I think, what this solution is addressing problem are really are looking for these days. And again, it looks so huge because of all the windows, right? Yeah. I just love that it's by level. Yeah. Um, I mean, you right, get, we're going to climb upstairs in a second. I'll show you yeah. the bathroom. But, uh, Let's get a bathroom. Yeah, just, I mean, for, it, it kind of defies 
the space, how big was it? So it's a 20, so it's a 16? Is this 16 feet? This can't be 16 feet. We'll get the measurements for you. So again, real bathroom and uh, shower sliders. Again, what you kind of expect from a uh, residential. Hey, everybody. Thumb up if you're kind of enjoying this or give a thumb up if you're thinking about this kind of thing. I'm thinking about something like this. Big sink and here's uh, storage towels. Again, it's a little different in build quality because it's meant to be moved once and parked, right? Uh, this isn't meant to be dragged around, so more hardwood. Uh, let's check out the toilet. So it's a kind of a traditional wet flush toilet. So you probably put a, a septic tank in your in your land and probably drill a well. And yeah. you could, I don't know, get electrical or run off grid. Want to go upstairs? Yep. So big step, but you can help separate the space. So park the kids up there when they visit. And so the so we scamper up. The Let me hand you the, uh, ah, sure. the camera. I see that. So it's pretty cool. Very steep steps, but nice handrail. There's a fireplace there. Are you serious? There's a fireplace. Um, yeah, nice queen size bed. You can't stand up in here, but. Microphone? But plenty, uh, plenty of storage. Nice window. Yeah, pretty. So you could kind of cool. maybe mount a TV to like watching TV in bed to the uh, rails here. You could, if you wanted. Yeah, and then you can see the uh, the loft for the kids. Pretty cool. What I'm looking for is the length. This so is definitely longer than 16 feet. Yeah, it's um. 27.9 exterior length, so 28 yeah. feet. Yeah, maybe yeah. It's 16 feet wide. I don't know. So what I did is I put in the description down below um, information, website links, all that to it. But again, this is the Timber Wolf, built by Forest River. And if you're looking for acreage to put a tiny home on, that only costs thirty-seven thousand dollars. Right. So you can have instant home. Assume you can drill a, a well, and it's pretty cool. I really like it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think Peter has to leave us because he has to catch a plane, but I'm going to go down to the park model, which a lot of folks really recognize. Um, same idea, different build quality, but uh, we'll be down there in a minute. Uh, but for 37 grand, this is it's pretty cool. You probably get a better deal today, I would think, but um, it's really nice. Again, very different build quality. Huge windows. Timberwolf, this is your tank situation. And I think on, on RVs like this, you can leave the gray open mm -hmm. and then you kind of fill the uh, black tank and then you empty it so it empties totally. And then you close that valve so you kind of uh, fill and empty on the black. But the gray you can leave open because you just sink and shower so you get a continuous run, assuming you have this plugged into a, a water source. Gotcha. Yeah, I just love it. It's got a little built-in deck. So imagine kind of put some decking around, maybe a little uh, a fun little uh, yard area. Mm -hmm. And you would really have instant home on a couple acres for not much. All right, we're going to end this. I'm going to turn this around. Peter, going to say uh, final words to the folks? Uh, no, we've had a lot of fun here. <laughs> um, no, I'm kind of sad I'm leaving. Uh, it's that's yeah. a lot, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it was it's, a, we, it's we did a ton, but it's I'm kind of sad that, I, that we're going. Oh, sad? I thought yeah. you said it's, it's, Oh, no. Yeah, it's um, a little bit. Um, yeah. We're doing YouTube Live. We can come on. You're not on camera, just us. That's a cool rig, isn't it? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, well, uh, let us know on your way up. Cool. Um, yeah, I can stay for a few more days, but I just got other things. We, uh, got, I accomplished my mission. So um, just thanks again for giving us all your expertise over the, the course of the show, and uh, we're going to be talking soon. Yeah, it's been fun. I look forward to uh, Ocala, right? Okay. And uh, Peace, Love, and Vans. Peace, Love, and Vans. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with those, go to my website, Go Small, Live Large. Mm -hmm. uh, look at, click on the event page, and all that stuff is listed there. Um, we got a, a Vanbury camp out in the Texas Hill Country coming up in March, too. So okay. lots, lots of yeah, ways to get together. Around. So thanks for watching the live and the replay. Uh, park model coming up next, so hit that button when it goes live. Peter, thank you again for all you, you do. And um, until we see you soon, we say journey on and peace be with you. Thanks for watching.